we are going to go over Zencaster. So to use Zencaster, first of all, you're just going to go to Zencaster.com and you will be met by the homepage. If you don't already have an account, just hit Let's Podcast and you will be taken through to the pricing page. Mine says current, so I can't click on it because I've already got an, an account. Um, but if you, you know, just hit whatever the button says here and you will be able to sign up to Zencaster for free. They've actually got this free plus account. I don't know why they have free and free plus, but free plus just gives you a little bit more, but it's still free and there's no like run out time on it. And you can see, you know, unlimited audio and video recording, uploads, audio, um, you know, you can have up to 12 people per recording. That'd be a crazy, insane podcast episode. But you know, there's there's loads of stuff that you can that you can do. So mine says current. I can't click on it because as I said, I've already got an account, but just click on this um, on this link and sign up for, for Zencaster. As I said, the great thing about Zencaster is that it is completely free. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna click on my little bit over here and click on dashboard because this will take me through to my dashboard. And this is what yours will look like as well when you have got it, um, when you've got it all set up. So to start with a new episode, but first of all, we're gonna hit this button up here where it says new. And then we are going to go to room and we are going to give the room a, a name. So let's call it, um, interview with, I can't type because my microphone's in the way. Oh, and now I'm breaking the microphone with Brittany Spears. I don't know. Right, you can then choose, do you want to record the audio and the video? Do you want to record the audio and just show the video? So that's where you can see each other, but it won't be recording the video, only record the audio. Or do you want to record the audio and there is no video at all? It's completely up to you which one you want to choose. Personally, I record the video and the audio because I like to use the, um, the video for YouTube. I don't always. I do ask permission before people um, you know, before I record the video, because sometimes people come onto the podcast thinking that it is just audio, um, you know, or people turn up on the day and they go, actually, do you know, what? I completely changed my mind, please, can we just do the audio? And that's absolutely fine. So just select whichever one works for you and then press create. It's going to take two seconds and you are going to be taken through to your room and look you can actually see you can see me with no makeup on um what you are then going to do is you can see this line down here and you can see the sound waves as i am talking what you're going to do next is go to this button up here called invite you're going to click on that now what you, you can do two different things here you can either type in the person's name and then whatever Britney Spears email address is there. You can do that for as many people up to 12 as are coming into the call or what you can do and, and then you press invite and it just said, you know, sends the invite out or what you can do. And this is what I personally do is press copy invite link. It copies the link and then you can go across to your email and send out an email to the individual with that particular link included. And it's normally something really, really use, um, you know, easy to remember as well. So you've got like recording.zencaster.com and then it'll have whatever your account name is and then whatever you've called the, the episode. Wouldn't it be amazing to have Britney Spears on the podcast? Anyway, I'm just gonna click out of that. So you've copied the link and like I said, you can then go across to your email and include the link Hi, Brittany, I'm really excited that you're gonna be on the podcast. Thanks for booking in on this date and time. Here is the link to click at that date and time. Remind people as well that the Zencaster, they don't need to create an account because sometimes people um, who are guesting are concerned that it's something else that they need to sign up to. They don't need to create an account. They just need to click the link and they will be taken through to enter their name and then they'll be in the same room as you. So now that we have copied that link, we've copied it across to the email, we can then exit that and this is what you will see now when somebody comes into the room they will have this bar that you can see here duplicated and it will be it will be underneath if you change your mind say if you had originally set it that it was going to record video and record audio and you change your mind you just want to show the video but only record the audio just click the down and you can show the video record audio or even no 
video and record audio. So let's check, um, check one of those. It will reload the project. Don't worry that you've been kicked out, but you can see this is where the, um, this is how it looks if you are, you've got no video going. So actually if you're interviewing somebody who you may, you know, maybe the bandwidth isn't that great. We know the video can use up a lot of bandwidth. So this might be a good solution for you. Or if people just don't want to show their faces for whatever reason, that's absolutely fine. Um, and then you've also got the show video but record video only. So again, if you collect that, remember it will um, it will reload. So if you're doing it when the guest is already um, there, just tell them that it's going to reload, and that's absolutely that's absolutely fine. You can then come down here and you can select different things. So we can turn the video off. We can mute ourselves. We can raise a hand. Just depends on you know how many people you're hosting. Normally, if you're just hosting the other person, there's not really a need for for that kind of for that kind of thing though. But as I said, there will be a little banner identical to this one that will appear down here, and it will have the individual's name in it. It will be green to say connected to Zencaster, and that's what you want it to that's what you want it to look like. And you can see that it's also green here to say that um, everything is is working. Good. You've got a chat function over here. I've never had to use the chat function because as I said, I've only ever interviewed a maximum, maximum of two people actually. Um, so there's been three of us on the call, but you know, the chat function might be useful if there are multiple people who are in the, in the call, kind of like a, a Zoom chat or something. But personally, that's not something I've ever had to use. So to use it, all we're gonna do is hit um, start recording. It does you a nice little countdown and then we're ready to go. Hello everybody and welcome back to the Confidence CEO podcast or whatever your podcast intro is. And you can see down here how it's, you know, it's the waveform so you can see that it is recording. As I said, this will be identical underneath for anybody who you are interviewing, whoever is on the call with you. Or if you're just doing a solo call, I use Zencaster to record solo episodes as well. Um, I find it absolutely, absolutely brilliant. If you kind of run out of steam or whatever, we can just press pause, we can go and get a coffee, we can have a drink or whatever, and then we can hit resume with the recording. Now, it was still having little bits come along, but it wasn't actually recording that as we, uh, you know, it's paused, so, and then it's going again. OK, so we can do that, which is a great, a great feature, particularly if you want to cut down on the amount of editing um, later on. Once you have finished your recording, we just hit the stop here. Just make sure that you get this little success message come up. You will please don't exit before you get the success message, because otherwise you won't have got the um, you won't have got the recording there. We're going to just click out of that and you will see here that there is the option to download the MP3. Now, if you have also recorded the video, then there will be an MP4 button identical, but it will be MP4 as well. So I'm just going to hit the MP3. It's asking me, is that the one I want to download? Yes. And so that's just me downloaded. If I had a um, somebody who I was interviewing, there would be one below there. Basically, there's one for every single person. So you want to download those if you're going to use something like GarageBand or Audacity to, or another software in order to in order to edit. You can create your podcast on Zencaster. This is not something that I tend to do just because you need. Um, you know, the additional, the additional plan, the additional pricing there. So that's not something that I tend to do. Um, I prefer to use GarageBand, um, but this might be something that you're interested in. So you can just click on create your podcast, wait for it to, wait for it to load and let's just play it. And, you and can... then we're ready to go. Hello everybody and welcome back to the Confidence CEO podcast or whatever your podcast intro is. And you can see that. And so if this is a format that you like and you want to run with that, that's great. What you can do is you can then pr um, produce and download it. However, you are you are limited. As I said, I'm on the pro, no, sorry, not the pro plan. <laughs> I'm on the free plus plan. And so I only have one hour of um, worth of credits to be able to produce and download. So for me, I don't use this purely because I download the audio and then I go across in because I need more than one hour in a month. So I don't want to pay for it when I can use GarageBand for, for free. But that's just, you know, if you do want to pay or you're using less than an hour or you just want to play around with it, that is something that you might want to do. You can click on edit and, you know, you can include more people. Um, you can change 
um, a couple of settings. There's not as much you can do, I have to say. You know, you can't go, oh, at three minutes, I don't like between three and four minutes, I want to cut that out. You don't get that, um, you know, that functionality in the production suite for Zencaster um, on the free or free plus plan, which is why I prefer to just use GarageBand. But as I said, that is that is an, um, an option. I'm just going to click back here to go back to my, back to my episode. Um, but I hope that makes sense as a tutorial. Um, if you've got any questions, as I said, as ever, just let me, just let me know, just send me an email. That's not, that's not a problem. Um, but as I said, I then download this and then in conjunction with my other video, which I just showed you, I'm just going to click on my finder here, go through to my, um, podcast and what I would then do is create a new folder I'm gonna just call it Britney Spears as I said in the other video about organizing my Google um, my Google Drive I personally if I don't have um, if it's not edited yet I just put the person's name I'm gonna double click on that I'm just gonna make my window a little bit smaller because then what I do is I just drag my files across and there they are. That's all in, in Google Drive and that will be ready for me to then go into GarageBand and edit. So that's my overview of using Zencaster. Have a go with it. It's completely free. It is wonderful software. And one thing I will actually say for it, particularly the um, the video, is the video quality is really, really good. When it comes to putting it on YouTube, it is way better than Photo Booth, um, which is on which is on Mac. It's yeah, it's just it's it's really it's really usable, really user friendly, which I really um, which I really like. I'm just gonna come out of this there, but then what you can see as well is these are just all of my um you know these are all of my episodes so at any point i can go back into the episode if i want the raw footage you know what i was saying in my other one that i don't keep the raw footage um and then i can just download the raw footage again and you can see here it's got an um i recorded this in both audio and movie so i've got the audio and the video to download to download there um but as i said it's it's really really easy to to use and you can you know they've got you can um you can do your show because you can host it on there that's really new i don't use it um you can also do creating your first episodes as i said i just prefer to use rooms it's so so much um easier and then you can also do things like saving offers in here again i don't bother with that i just use the rooms so that i can just record episodes in a really easy way and then I can, you know, these these are much more if you are producing your show and hosting it on, on Zencaster. Um, but if you're not doing that and you're just using it for recording, you're just going to want to focus on the um, on the rooms there. As I said, hope this was um, hope this was useful. Hope you enjoyed this and I will see you in the next video.